Welcome you to the SEC on ESPN. South Carolina looking for its first win over Auburn in 87 years as the Gamecocks and 15th ranked Tigers meet in week four of the SEC schedule. 18,000 fans in attendance here at williams Bryce. Auburn won the toss and deferred, so South Carolina will start the game on offense. Shy Smith deep for the Gamecocks. It will be a touchback and come out to the 25 to Colorado State. Hill is from Moore, South Carolina, which is about an hour northwest of here. Third down and seven, his first pass of the day, taking a shot downfield, juggling, and unable to come up with it is Xavier Leggett. Good throw that time by Hill. Leggett couldn't pull it in, and a conversion rate for opposing offenses. They rush four and third and nine. Nix finds a receiver who's wide open, got behind the defense, pulled in for a first down. DJ Williams, the running back. Back in Tank Bigsby. Just got to get the passing game going a little bit. Nix again off play action. And it's complete to Seth Williams, who is their top receiver. He doesn't drop anything. Gain of 11. Big shaking up last week. Had two touchdowns in the win over Kentucky week one. Here's Schwartz out in space, and oh, into the turf at the 39-yard line by Shiloh Sanders. Mix has been interesting, but it's going to work out for Auburn in the long term. Another pass play here for Nix, although using his feet here, trying to get the first down, and he was able to do it. Boy, defender whiff there. Nix slow. Let's go down, and he takes it with his legs. Nix again to the air. And a sliding catch made by Jackson for a gain of eight inside the 30-yard line. Here's Bixby being chased, but gets the first down to the 20-yard line. Pickup of five there. This young man is very exciting. Take Bixby. Carolina's defense get off the field. Auburn two for two on third down against that great third down defense. Schwartz. Trying to get outside, it runs out of room. Banged out of bounds at the 17. A gain of six, it'll that. They have one yard of total offense. Harris had an 88-yard touchdown run last week that stood. Hill's pass on the screen is caught, but dropped is to carry on Joyner for a loss of three. So that Auburn defense, I have the sophomore quarterback. Throwing on first down here into South Carolina territory is Eli Stove, who has not been held huge for this Auburn offense. So an eight-yard pickup. Nix will throw again, and it's caught for a first down. True freshman Xavion Capers inside the 40-yard line, his second catch of the year, brought down by Shiloh's moment of the game. 16th play, and on the pitch, Nix setting the block for Stove is inside the 30 and finally brought down inside the 25 yard. Here is Bigsby trying to cut it to the outside. Breaks a tackle. Wow! Bigsby all the way to the 10. Well, that's why Holly was talking about you see a year starter for South Carolina in corner. Third down and 10. Nix caught. Touchdown. Eli Stowe with his second Eli touchdown Stowe catch of the season. Touchdown. Guy in particular, Bo Nix. And now how about this, going for two with true freshman J.J. Pegues running the Wildcat. And he pitches it here to Grant Loy, the backup quarterback. Loy's pass to the end zone is incomplete. Three trick plays to start. It's amazing what Mac Brown's done in such a short period of time. They run it here to Fenwick. Nice move. Pass the 45. A gain of six on the play. How about third down and four? Back shoulder pass that's dropped by Shai Smith. Third leading was.
Auburn backed up. Nicks from his end zone, rolling to his left, and able to dump it off to Schwartz. And the speedster gets all the way to the 25-yard line. On third and 11, Nicks in trouble. Escapes. Now Nicks throws into traffic, and it's intercepted. There's J.C. Horn again making a play. I mean, he's been all over Seth Williams throughout the day, and he gets a huge pick here. J.C. Horn, what a great job. Bo Nix does a good job escaping the pocket, but J.C. Horn seeing and peeling off of his wide receiver to hop in front. K.J. Britt, who is their leader on defense, he, he's probably going to miss another month with a hand injury. Hill dumps it off. Harris got the first down. Out of bounds at the three, but a fresh set of downs for a good conversion. Harris again keeps the feet moving, driving, and is into the end zone for the touchdown. It could completely change the seeming direction of the game. Extra point is good, and it's 9 7. Quarterback's legs. Bo Nix, freshman of the year in the SEC a year ago, throws a deep ball here. Jump ball, and it is caught. And there he is, Seth Williams, finally able to. Here's Bixby straight ahead. And Bixby runs through defenders down to the one yard line. The ball came out. It's recovered by Jones, but they're going to rule the running back down at the one yard line. First and goal for the Tigers. And Bixby walks into the end zone for the touchdown. Other than the turnover, the best Auburn has looked offensively maybe this season. There's a penalty. Thinking about a defensive lineman for Auburn who didn't end up having a really good NFL career. Colin Hill, and wide open is the tight end Nick Muse out past the 45-yard line. A gain of 20 to start this drive for the game. There too, third down and 10 here. Nine-point lead for Auburn. And Hill in trouble, and had to get rid of that pass. He got hit, and it's incomplete. Tried to hit. Third down and five. Knicks from empty. Moving around. Flips it into traffic again, and it's picked off again. Intercepted by Jalen Dickerson. type of look South Carolina gets in to see if they can create a matchup for number 13 their star in the slot he's been targeted six times already three catches Hill looking for Smith he's got it the first down to the 35 yard line and a gain of 10 as I'd like to see from Auburn's corners Hill over the middle Smith Whoa, he gets drilled by Jamie and Sherwood the pops right back who's a transfer from Colorado State they're going to run behind him. Fenwick has a first down to the 23-yard line. Fenwick on the carry. They run it again between the tackles, and Fenwick is close to a first down. They are not afraid to run. Kevin Harris back in the game at running back. Hill, and the pass is caught by Van. Makes the defender miss. Van has a first down. It'll be first and goal from the two for South Carolina. It'll be really fun to watch tonight. Quarterback keeper Hill on second and goal pushes his way toward the goal line and in for the touchdown. One. 16-14, Auburn. Let's check in with Holly Rowe. Well, you guys say that you...
On third down, pass is caught by Stove again, so the clock will stop here momentarily. Ball at the full. So uh, I definitely feel his pain, but it's a, it's a good learning experience for him. You can't get casual at any moment, even if you're trying to spike the ball. Nix gets hit and sacked to end the first half. Kingsley Enag Bari. It was a good call by the official. Was it though? I, maybe that was the wrong replay there as uh, Stove has the first down. I mean, maybe it happened earlier because I didn't see much on that one as he was coming out of his break. But go for it on fourth. That's DJ Williams in the backfield. Nix moving outside the pocket, long throw, and near the first down is Anthony Schwartz, and he has enough to move the chains. And ends up making a good throw, though, on the sideline. They'll run Williams here, up the middle. Runs through defenders for South Carolina and pick. Nix from the pocket, throws, knocked away by Horn, and complete. Going again for Williams. Breakup on the outstanding corner. 38-yard try by Anders Carlson. He nails it, and Auburn's lead is five. That's 10 returns one week from today, so a lot to look forward to in an ever-changing break. On third and short, that's a great block by the fullback, and able to get close to the first down as Harris. He should have it. There is a penalty flag down. Maybe four down territory. We'll see what they call here at third down and five. They're going to keep it on the ground, and it's a huge running lane. And then, wow, Harris runs over Smoke. He smoked Monday at the 26-yard line and picked a big play in the run game. How about Harris finishing that run, too? Here's the backup. Fenway inside the 10. It'll be first and goal. South Carolina a chance to take the lead here on this possession. To throw it when you get a look like that. Second and goal outside the 10 now. Hill with a flag down. Oh, Shai Smith up the ladder, pulls it in for touchdown. Hill rolling to his right, looking. There was a lot of contact as Shai Smith got shoved out of bounds. Nix's pass is off target, incomplete, trying to hit Capers. You can see how hard it is for these Auburn defenders to try to bring him down, runs well behind his pads. And he finishes runs too. Hill taking a shot here on third down, a lot of contact downfield and a flag. Kevion Mullins, a player that the Auburn coaches the last couple weeks breaking some big hitters. He's got a lot of speed, too. Play fake here for Hill on the rollout, dumps it off to the fullback. First down catch. Prentice finally goes down. The two Colorado. Sure enough, there right there. <laughs> Prentice, that's his one touch he'll get this season. But man, he made the most of it. Excellent job by the fullback. Pressure coming late. Hill's pass. Interception by Papo. Big play by the Auburn defense to get a takeaway in the red zone. Wide receiver. Play clock is down to two. Snap to Nix. Side arms it, and it's picked off by J.C. Horn, taking it back. With a second interception of the game, J.C. Horn stepping in front of Williams. Excellent play on the ball. Kevin Harris running it left and running it in. Touchdown, South Carolina. Two interceptions. And on the very next play, the touchdown followed by the extra point, and the lead is up. J.C. Horn giving him a lot of cushion on third and long. I mean, a 15-yard cushion. Nick's in trouble, being chased by Thomas, throws, it's caught but short of the line to gain by Capers, the truth. At the bottom of the screen, likely going to 
try to find a matchup they like. Big number 13. Four man rush by Auburn. Here's a shot downfield, single coverage. Smith, oh, he caught it. One handed, ripped it in at the 43 of Auburn. Bring it down to the ground. He got mossed, rolling out his hill, dumping it off to Muse inside the 40 at the 35. A good play action. Second and short, a good play action, throw it deep. Yeah, they just hand it off to Fenwick, but he gets the first down easily. They're starting to lean on that. Oh. Five minutes gone by. And a run Fenwick on third down. And he's brought down at the 21 yard line by Sherwood. So it's fourth down and kicks from about 45 and in. And right on cue, puts it through. To start this drive of the run play, Bigsby past the 35 down the sideline, able to break a tackle and finally knocked out of bounds in South Carolina territory. Let's try to create more separation. Play fake here for Nix and wide open in the middle of the field is Capers down to the 26 yard line. So the first play goes for a little differently where they just go mono e mono press man and they haven't been getting separation. Big hole for Bigsby inside the 15. Keeps his balance somehow. Drives the feet all the way to the eight. Mancha very off of the day. Nick's rolling left, waiting, directing traffic, and then throws it away. Good coverage in the end zone by the game cut. Carlson from 22. So they're with an eight. Keep in mind, they had a botched two-point conversion early. Giving it right back to them with one of their grads. All right, Holly, third down and 10 now for South Carolina. No timeouts left for Auburn, and they will run it down to about the 244 as a shoe goes flying from Kevin Harris. So Nix in trouble, gets out of there. Nice move at the 40, and Nix tripped up at the 40. South Carolina knew very well where he was at on the field and how quickly Charlotte Sanders got there. A flag down, Nix rolling out, throws back across the middle, caught by Stove at the 30. A two-point play, 35 yards away from having that chance. 132 on the clock. Nix bouncing around in the pocket, steps up, takes off. He's got running room. All the way down to the 18-yard line. Bo Nix again with his feet. Picks up room for the Tigers. A loss will almost certainly knock him out of SEC West Division title contention. Nix rolling around, trying to make something happen. He's got some green in front of him. Tries to hurdle a defender, gets knocked out of bounds at the 12. He picked up 10 yards. There are nine seconds. Nix, time is running out. A flag is down, and Nix running the ball. He's tackled at the nine. No time left. Let's see what down. Personal foul, hands to the face. Offense number 71. The ball carrier was short of the line to gain. A huge win for Will Muschamp and South Carolina beating number 15 Auburn.